Hey friends, how are you? Hope you're well. I'm here today to do a tag video. I haven't done one of these in forever. It's like ages. So I saw this one and it's the ebook reader tag. It was devised by Micah Cummins and I saw this on Sarah the Bookish Knitter's channel so I will leave a link to her video down below. So this is a, a just a tag about e-readers if you use them etc. So the first question is, I actually took a picture of the, the question. So what was the first e-reader you ever owned? What was your reason for getting one and were you a reluctant convert or an eager one? So my first Kindle was the was back to back in 2015. I did check. As you can see the battery power is gone on it because I just I don't use it but I keep it as a backup if I need it. I think I was quite an eager convert. I think because I realised it would save me when I'm going on holiday having to um carry like say three or four books in my in my, my suitcase or my luggage. Um so I realised well I was gonna get lots of lots of books on there. So I think that's kind of one of the reasons and just for the handiness of travel, etc., that you know it would be a really good thing to get. And then I converted to um my fire, I think sort of around about 2018. I think because on this one I realised I could get my emails and stuff like that, which I thought was a really good thing to do if I was away. Maybe it's actually not a really good thing to get when you're away, is having your emails and stuff. It also meant I could keep up with YouTube videos. I think that's probably one of the other reasons I, I got it, was I can sort of sit and watch YouTube videos on it, etc. as well. Um, so yeah, so I was quite an eager convert. Um, I wanted to see, not, not that I ever want to get rid of physical books, absolutely not, but at times for the ease of having something you know that I can just pop my bag and I can just go or travel and I'm not as I say having to lug um, X number of books with me because when I go on holiday or when I went on holiday with physical books and I was going with one of my friends we would choose about three books each and it meant that we knew we had six books to read throughout the whole holiday and it would probably be that at the end of the flight home we were reading the last book, we were sort of finishing the last chapter of the, of the of the last book. So it was, you know, it did, did save on that. So question two, what e-reader do you use now and what e-readers do you own? So you've seen what I use and what I own. I'm, I mostly use my fire now. Um, I like it, I do say, but I've had, you know, I am tempted at, now buy a paper white because the one thing that annoys me about the my both Kindles glare from the sun if you're outside it's like oh so yeah so I may but at the moment um I will stick with what I've got I think the way the finances are at the moment and the financial markets etc and just the cost of living it's not justifiable that one's working it does me well it means that if I if if on a sunny day I want to go out and read, I'll just use a physical book, and I have plenty of those. So, question three: Do you read digitally on multiple devices, or always on the same device? If you use multiple, how do you decide which one to use? I only have I only use the one device, so I don't have that. Um, I don't have that sort of not problem, but I know that people that are certain. Certain companies that you can get ebooks from that use a different um, app, like I can't use, I can't, if I wanted to read a Mills and Boone, I can't, couldn't do that on my Kindle Fire because their app doesn't, is not compatible. I'm like, come on guys, what, let's get with the program here. It's, you know, there are people like themselves and Harlequin who you have to have, like for Harlequin it's the Gloss app if you're in North America and Canada. Um, or sorry, in America and Canada, on Mills and Boone you've got to have their special app as well, but it's just not compatible with you know the you can't run the 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 Mills and Boone app on your on your Kindle. It's ridiculous. It's like they are for me they are cutting off people who would want to read their books um, because they are not doing this. Also, Harlequin, you know, I I be, even though I have <coughs> signed up to the Harlequin dot com website. I can't buy anything from there because I live in the UK. It's ridiculous. It really is. And they need, they need to sort this out because, as I say, they are losing a lot of customers. 
Question four, do you still read physical books? If so, how do you decide which format to read a certain book in? On the whole, I will try and possibly go um, physical where I can um, because I just love the feel of a physical book in my hand. The books that I tend to be have, get on my Kindle are like from BookBub, they are net galley books. They are review books from you know uh, various authors who use e e publications for their you know their e arcs, so that's what I will use my Kindle Fire mostly for. Um, you know it's, but if I can, I will try and get a physical copy. Even if if there is a say an e book that I've read that I've really really enjoyed. And I think my mum will enjoy it. I will, or my dad. I will buy the e. I'll buy the physical copy so they can have, they can have, you know, the joy of reading it as well. Um, question five: What is something you delight you dislike about reading ebooks? One, I can't share them. I can't share them with my parents or with my friends. You know, with a physical book, you can go. I really enjoyed this book. Here you go, read it. I think you'll enjoy it. I can't do that with an ebook, which really is frustrating. Um, the other th couple of things that are frustrating is the fact that when you buy an ebook, you don't actually own it; you're only renting it, and the cost of said ebooks are going up. And it's like it's going to be at the stage where ebooks will cost as much as a physical copy, and it's like, come on, you know. If you if we're not allowed to actually physically own the book, then why are you charging us so much money? It's ridiculous. And I think that if probably if e copies are still going to keep going up and up and up, it's very possible that people will say, Well, forget it, I'm just gonna go and buy the physical copy. Because, you know, why not? Question six. Would you ever ditch, ditch physical books completely and become a sole ebook reader? If yes, why? If no, why not? No, definitely I would not. Um, as I say, I love the feel of a, a physical book in my hand. I also love being able to go into a bookshop and browse books, lift them up, read the inside flap or the back to find out about the story and, you know, make a decision at that point. With an ebook, you... <laughs> you're sitting on your computer and you're scrolling through and I'm like, no, you know, I use my computer enough that I don't want to have to sit and scroll through books um, to decide what I want to read, what I don't want to read. Um, so no, I will never, I will never ditch physical. I mean, I would be lost without having my bookshelves as they are. It just, <clears throat> you know, I love seeing the covers. I love seeing what I have, what I've read. And even though I've read the ma the majority of all the books on my bookshelves, I still go back and reread, and I really like that. Um, yes, I could reread in my on my my ebooks, but I don't seem to do that. I seem to have read a book. Yeah, that's fine. I've read it. End of story. But with this, I have the joy of going. Oh, I quite fancy going back to the beginning of such and such a series, or I'll pick this one up in the series. So, no, I will never. I will never get rid of physical books. Question seven, where do you get your ebooks from? Kindle store, library loans, third party websites. My the main place I get <coughs> are, <coughs> excuse me are Amazon NetGalley because I get my e arcs from there and then as I say uh, I review for some people like book, a book a tool publishing who use book funnel. And some other authors use book funnel as well so i get you know i use that as well but they're they're my the, the three main places i get i'm not sure if my if my library does um ebook loans because they are a very small library um so that's kind of where i get my my kindle books from so yeah so the last question is tag some some people i don't know my followers i know rebecca the colorful book nester i know that you have a kindle 
Um, so I would, if you want to do this tag, please do so. I'm not sure who else of my followers. I don't have Beth from Soul Stained Ink. Do you have a key, do you have any reader? You know, you're one of my great one of my good friends. I don't know though yet. <laughs> so if you do, if you want to do the tag. Um, but anybody else that watches this video, if you want to have a go at this tag, or even if you don't have a YouTube channel but you like the idea of the tag, please in the comments come and chat with me. Tell me your answers. I will leave the a copy of the questions in the description bar down below in the description box down below so please if you if you if you feel like doing the tag but don't want to do a video just let me know in the comments what your answers are but i hope you've enjoyed this tag it's been fun to do um you know i i know i have opinions about various publishers and the fact that we don't own our ebooks from amazon maybe if we if we as e-readers band together and start shouting a bit more, maybe companies such as Amazon, places like Harlequin, Mills and Boone will actually use formats that we can, one, use, two, that anybody in the world can buy from their websites. You know, maybe we need to start a wee bit of a campaign, guys, to so that it's, it's fair for everybody, you know, um, and we'll take it from there. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, give it a thumbs up and let's chat in the comments. But until my next video, friends, stay safe and happy reading. Bye.